What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to get more system storage space on your PS4. Let's get right into this. So as you guys know, I am a heavy gamer and it has happened to me a few times where the system storage on my PS4 has become full. Luckily, I don't have this issue anymore, so I wanted to make this video to share with you a few things to help you get more system storage. Now, the first thing that I'd recommend to do is, in my opinion, the most common sense thing, but a lot of people just don't seem to think about it or do it, and that is to clean out your system storage. To go into your system storage, you're going to want to go to settings, click storage, and then click system storage. Now, once you're in here, you're going to want to start with applications and delete any games that you no longer play. For me, there is quite a few games that I honestly have not touched in three or four years. So I went ahead and deleted them because I know myself, I'm likely not going to play those games anytime soon. And I also went and deleted any of the games that I recently beat and platinums because I know I'm likely not going to play those games either. Now, if you delete a game and you later change your mind and want to play it again, you are able to re-download it onto your system. If it is a game that you purchased from the PlayStation Store and got it digitally, all you have to do is go to your library, go down to purchased, Find the game and re-download. Now, if it is a game that you have the physical disc for and you want to replay it, as long as you still have that disc, all you have to do is put the disc back in your PS4 and it will start re-downloading the game. Once it's finished downloading, you are going to be able to play the game whenever you want. The next thing you're going to want to do is go and delete any video clips and screenshots that you no longer need that are in your gallery. For me, as you guys know, I am a YouTuber and I play a lot of games and share a lot of gaming content on my channel as well that I do record quite a bit of gameplay. So any videos that I've done, I have a lot of videos saved. And normally I have anywhere from 20 to 50 gigabytes of everything that is video clips and video related on my PS4. So every once in a while, just to save space, I will go and delete everything that I've already used or the clips that I don't think I'm actually gonna use for videos. Now the next thing is only gonna save a little bit of space, but at the end of the day, it will help save space on your system storage. And that is to transfer save data from the system to the cloud and then deleting it off of your system. For this, all you're gonna to want to do is go to application saved data manager, click saved data in system storage, upload to online storage, and then you're going to want to choose the games you want to upload. Now, if you have your account set as your primary on your PS4, it should do this automatically. But for me, since I game share with my best friend, I have to do this manually anyways, just in case there's any problems with my PS4. Not that there ever is going to be because I take really good care of it. But if there was, I have everything backed up onto the cloud. So it does help. And then all I have to do is go and delete it off system storage. It will only save a little bit of space, but at the end of the day, a little bit of space still helps. And the last thing that I would recommend, and this is what I did, which is why I do not have an issue anymore. And a lot of times I don't even think about doing everything else on this list just because I don't really need to anymore until it gets full. And that is buy an external hard drive. I know a lot of people don't want to do this. So if you don't want to spend money, try the other methods that I mentioned. You will save a lot of space by doing that. But if you want to get a lot more space, just purchase an external hard drive. For me, I have a three terabyte WD MyBook and I absolutely love it. So for me, my PS4 has one terabyte in it and I have a three terabyte external hard drive. So in total right now, I have four terabytes of space. So for me, I don't have to go and delete games to purchase and download new games. I have a ton of space and the benefits of an external hard drive as opposed to an internal one is an internal hard drive. You have to open up your PS4, put a new hard drive in to get more space. For an external hard drive, all you have to do is set it up next to your PS4 or any console, plug the power cord into an outlet, plug the USB cable into your PS4 and you are done. You don't have to do anything else with your PS4 other than go into the settings and 
have it so it recognizes this external hard drive. And you can also set it as your default save spot, meaning if you go and purchase a new game, instead of it downloading to your system, then having to transfer it from your system to the external hard drive, you can have it automatically download to the external hard drive, which is what I do. Now, when I purchased my three terabyte external hard drive, it cost me about $150, if I remember correctly. Of course, there is four terabyte, five terabyte, and likely even bigger ones now, ones with more capacity. But my understanding is right now, the external hard drives are going down in price. So that is a benefit if you want to go that route. And the best thing for an external hard drive as opposed to internal one, you don't have to just use it for one console or one device. You can move it around and use it for any device that you want. So all you have to do is unplug the USB cable from your PS4 and plug it into a different console, a desktop, a laptop, or anything with a port, and it'll automatically be used. An external hard drive is basically just a really large storage bank for example, like a really large flash drive. You can use it for any device and save things onto it. So whenever I purchase the PS5 later this year, what I'm gonna be doing is just plugging in my external hard drive into it and saving the games on it. If I wanna go back to the PS4 and play games, all I have to do is unplug it from the PS5, plug it into the PS4 and use it then as well. So I hope this has helped you find more ways to get more system storage on your PS4. I know I use these methods quite a bit, but now that I have an external hard drive, I don't need to constantly go and delete games, but my external hard drive did end up getting full earlier this year because I had games from the past three or four years still downloaded on it. So I decided to go and clean them all out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here. Please take care. Peace.